What's bragging and cracking, y'all? It's Wednesday, March 18th, 2015. I'm your old Garrett, getting Yams, and this is DX Daily. First, Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly is already considered an instant classic, according to critics and rap fans. Alongside receiving a rare 5 out of 5 from Hip Hop DX, K Doc's Good Kid Mad City follow up currently sits at a 94% range on Metacritic. DX editor in chief Justin Haunt had this to say about the album. For an hour and 19 minutes, Kendrick Lamar reveals in his inspirations while simultaneously pushing artistic margins through his visceral dramatization of the age in which we live. To Pimp a Butterfly is ambitious in its attempt to inspire a generation to change the world for the better and poignant enough to actually do so. It doesn't stop there. To Pimp a Butterfly also broke the record for most streams in one day on Spotify with 9.6 million. To put things in perspective, that's over half of what Drake's If You're Reading This Is Too Late did in a week at 17.6 million. Felt the project deserved a perfect score? Hit the comment section. Next, Young Thug's label, 300 Entertainment, confirmed that his debut album will indeed be titled The Carter Six. Thugger first mentioned he would continue the album series that Lil Wayne started over a decade ago in an interview with MTV last year. Currently, Weezy is still fighting to get the Carter V released outside of having a legal battle with Cash Money. Here's what Thug posted on his Instagram page with the caption, hashtag Carter 6 OTW. Get out my face and my place in my space for I aim at your face and make copies no place. I pop a E, no bait, then I took off with no trace. Don't you tell you pussy nigga that you come and grind it. Don't you tell him that you grind it. Can Young Thug actually make an album as good as his idol? Comment below. Last, Cut Calhoun spoke with me recently to talk about the role he played in the rise of strange music. This comes after the Kansas City native went to YouTube last week explaining why he left the label home to Tech 9, Chris Calico, and Rich last year. According to Calhoun, the early rise of strange music's popularity was attributed to live shows and tour merchandise before album sales came into play. Here's a clip. It all stems from merch and tour. The, the idea of making money off of records from 2000 when Strange was established until 2007 or almost eight, there was no money made off of album sales. You know, they couldn't start making money off of album sales until like 2007, 2008. Moving forward, Cut Calhoun is molding his own label, Black Gold, named after his last release on Strange Music in 2013. Think he can do it on his own? Hit the comment section. And these are today's most interesting hip-hop headlines, and for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.